guys, my name is Jess McDonald. It is the 29th of July today, and you are tuned in to Gain Spot News. In news of things I would like to spend a bunch of money I don't have on, a custom PS4 called the Gay Station has been unveiled in an auction for charity. The colourful system is being auctioned off to support the Swedish Foundation for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Queer Rights, and its bids have already passed 2,500 bucks. The auction still has a little time left as it doesn't close until the 2nd of August, so if you want to trade a wad of useless money for a nifty rainbow PlayStation 4, you can still do that. Swedish games retailer Webb Halen have said, For many young people, the world of games will become a refuge to escape the taunting or worse of real life. On Webb Halen, we are gamers in heart and mind, and are keen that as many as possible have the opportunity to feel welcome and enjoy the world's largest and fastest growing interest, video games. Next up, the Destiny beta is done and dusted, so if you were thinking about cracking into it, you'll have to wait until September. Bungie called the beta a tremendous success and said that they've learned a whole bunch about the game and what they can implement to make it better. While community manager Eric Osborne wrote on Twitter that he was, quote, gobsmacked by the numbers, we haven't actually heard any specifics on what those numbers were as yet. Bungie also teased that this was only the beginning by saying, your next adventure begins on September 9th when we launch Destiny. Once we do that, we intend to keep it in orbit for a very long time. See you star side. Last up, it's been a while since a game's personality came out with something controversial to say, but Doom creator John Romero has saved the day by saying that PC is decimating console. The dev told Games Industry International that this is because PC games are often less expensive and that the PC platform is more open than traditional consoles. Romero said that PCs are a continually evolving platform while consoles get stuck in long life cycles. He cited the examples of free-to-play and Steam games as cheap options, and then continued to stir the discussion pot by saying free-to-play has killed a hundred AAA studios. He described the PC shareware model of the 90s as the ultimate version of free-to-play, where they put out the first episode of Doom or Wolfenstein for free, and if people liked it, they could pay to play more. Romero has also argued that devs are getting better at designing free-to-play games, and he expects the model's stigma to fade. And as for your question of the day, let me know down in the comments if you reckon gamers will come around to free to play and if you think it's a good or a bad thing. Those are all the things I wanted to tell you about today. As always, be sure to leave me your opinions and I will see you same time tomorrow.